guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so we're on episode three now and we have winter setting in so the first day of winter and we got quite a bit of stuff done yesterday uh though during the winter i think what we're going to be working on is getting our wall built for the most part um working on that for the construction and there's not much that we can really do. Like I said before uh, in the last episode, I didn't want to send out my um, caravan again during the winter at least because I don't know if the donkeys graze or not. So kind of a catch-22, but uh, we will send them out in spring uh, once we get the farming and stuff done. And then that way we'll be able to um, ensure that they'll have a safe journey and stuff like that. But. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, yeah, we have obviously the wall to work on. We can work on the wall a little bit more, make a few more little entrance ways. I think I started working on some little um, areas like this that they can kind of come into. Like break down the, um, let's see if I can scroll down here. Like break down that and then there should be the logs and stuff there that they can build it up again so they'll go through the door build a wall and then they should be safe so that's the idea at least I'm not sure if it's gonna work in practice but it is pretty far away from the um, what do you call it the uh, main gate which is way over here so I want a couple of those like switch areas where they can actually get through maybe another one over in this side would be good and you know, mining's a little bit hard during the winter because of the snow. You don't know where all the ores and stuff are. So we're not, I did mark out a little bit of area over here to kind of get some limestone. And there's some parts over here that there should be mining as well. And um, as far as that goes, I think that's about it. Uh, we'll work on the wall and try to get that all sorted out. Maybe have another switch area around here somewhere. That would probably be good. Or around here. Maybe midway right about here. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, this will allow more storage as well too once this is all done. And we can store other things. We can actually start storing stuff here. I think this is where it's done. Just need the um, marlins on the walls there. But we'll build the platform first.
All right, so I noticed that we don't really have that much space for our settlers and our, um, what do you call it? Our, um, uh, what is it called? Great Hall. So I ended up basically, we can host an event at the tables, but we can't host them at the single tables. So I'm almost wondering if that actually works still with the single tables or not, but um, I wanted to make sure that it is possible. So I moved this, well, told them to move this uh, to the forge area just because it might look a little bit better um, over here than not having it at a lo other location. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and put a large table up here. I'm also moving the chairs, these ones back one. And that should carry our count for now, but we might need another great hall eventually. Um, which actually makes me wonder if I should just convert that into the brewery. <laughs> Maybe it would be better for the brewery. I'm not sure. Uh, there isn't that much stuff to brew, but we could definitely put it upstairs and then just make a great hall somewhere else. Um... I'm not sure where we would put the Great Hall, but we could probably rearrange some of these buildings, could fit it right next to it maybe. That might work, um, that way it's not too far away from the main area. Uh, that's not going to be enough space to put uh, the Great Hall, so we can't just put it there. At least not unless we take down the entire uh, buildings in this area. So. That would be one option, I guess, if we wanted to do that. Uh, might double the size, which is what we need. Uh, might be an odd size, though, because we have that angle there. But it could work, possibly. And we could do... A, the thing with the an additional floor, it would be too hard to do an additional floor. Because I don't know if it works on the same room or not. So... Um, if we do, then I think what we would have to do is basically make an area open. I think that might work for um, an upper loft area, which could possibly work if that's how the game works. I'm not sure. I know with stairs like this, it can't, doesn't count as the room below. So, like, down here is its own, and then with the stairs there, it's separate because it doesn't have an opening but if you were to punch a hole in it i think it makes it
All right, so I did something a little bit different. I sent out our cows instead. I must have clicked on yesterday a cow that was young or something like that. There was a few of them. And they only have a capacity of 70, but the adults have a capacity of 130. So not too much lower than a donkey which is 180 which is when it's fully grown so i sent out cows instead um there is still a male here and there are three females around as well so if the herd doesn't make it then we'll be able to um at least still continue breeding our cows and stuff like that so that won't be a problem um where i shipped them to I can get to the right tab was to this this uh faction here um church of the third coming and we're not really aligned with them per se but they are in the mountains so we'll be able to get um hopefully what we need for the stone bricks and stuff like that and i just noticed that this should probably be chopped down I don't know why it was planted. Oh, it's, it's not checked as don't sell, that's why. All right, but um, yeah, outside of that, that's, we sent out uh, the same shipment that we were going to send to the other faction. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of stuff there. And um, I'm not sure when he'll be back. Um, it is a pretty long journey. He's been gone for two days now, maybe one day, I'm not sure. So, it's pretty rough uh, train to get through. So, hopefully he can get there in time. And then we can send him back with a whole bunch of resources and stuff like that. But, that's the goal at least. Um, started working on planning out the um, walls over here as well. So, I've been built, telling them to build the um, areas and stuff like that. I think what I'm going to do though, is we have stairs over here. And I'm probably going to put stairs right around here as well. Uh, that way we can get up and down. And it's pretty far apart, so it'll act as like a checkpoint, I guess. So we can do something like that. And that way, if there's a need to get up on this side of the wall, then they can easily do that through the stairs. And I think that's what my general idea was before. So to have it, you know, fair part, fair amount apart. Alright guys, so we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today, uh, though it doesn't look like we got a lot, but we, we get, did get some stuff done. 
Um, for example, we got the table in here and we got a little bit of stuff mined out. Uh, so we should have a little bit more limestone and just check our pile. Yeah, we got a pretty good amount of limestone now. And what else did we work on? We worked on chopping some trees down to kind of thin out the area for the natural trees and to make room for our wall. This is how much I got basically planned out uh, up to this point. I did start working on the pillars up to here, but the trees need to be uh, removed before we could actually go ahead and start building those. So um, that's basically where I got to and they've been slowly working on the ways up and stuff like that and the um, what do you call it? the supports as well. But we got this whole section done, so that was good. And uh, hopefully next episode we'll find out if there is any limestone blocks that we can basically get. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.